Hello there. This is Microsoft's fan delivering a commentary. So kick back, relax, and post a few comments to see what you think afterwards. Well let's just say I skip this asshole's intro and just start my commentary. Oh my god! Nintendo! I've what seen more Rasuos coming out of your ass than a backed up septic pipe <sighs> Look, that EA, just exploded. Talk. You were a big part of our childhood. I loved games like Starflight, Buck Rogers, Centurion, Rings of Power. Pretty much your whole Genesis yellow clipped collection is still sitting on James's shelf. Even his first copy of Mule has your stamp on it. And while I think you've made a series of strategic missteps in the last half decade, to this day there are games that you've published that I praise, even here on the show. But there's something you've been doing lately that we have really, really got to talk about. No, it's not the buying of companies that clearly don't fit into your corporate culture. No, it's not even about what it takes to kick off new IP. We have got to talk about your marketing. <laughs> you gotta stop this. You've got the biggest, most powerful marketing arm in the industry, and you're using it to set us all back. It's not helping anyone, not even you. No, not even in the short term. First off, let me get this out of the way, okay? You, you speak for yourself, guys. You don't speak for every single fan in the EA industry. And you don't even speak for EA. Second, to keep the game industry alive, they need to market somehow. So what? Marketing. Okay, okay, for fuck's sake, stop being a crybaby faggot, and I'll explain how marketing works. Marketing begins with ideas. Once an idea is approved, it is then sent out to the broadcasters who run commercials based on these marketing ideas. If enough consumers purchase the product because of it, then a marketing campaign based around it can begin in order to further encourage consumers to purchase the product. This very same concept extends to limited editions and model variations of the product. Also, the same strategy can be used to promote other products as well as the aforementioned product. Sometimes a marketing strategy may not always work well, and thus can lead to some financial trouble. Take Sega for example, Sega was losing money and thus decided that the simplest strategy was to put its console business on hiatus and make, or rather publish games for other consoles. Alex Young, Style. unlike Clicker for Team Vids, has played the Sonic Generations or demo or enough times to tell you scenes. that the plug and play so controls are as smooth as silk, you get a true essence of speed, and the stages can be completed you fairly quickly. Now for the other the end of the spectrum, Game Capital, Mitt Romney, the former owner and CEO of Game Capital, taught many a profitable business, only to close it down shortly thereafter, given how they were drowning in debt, just trying to keep it all afloat. Mitt Romney and Bain Capital failed to make the small structural changes that Sega made when it was in financial trouble. All Sega had to do was to adapt to current marketing conditions, something that Mitt Romney's Bain Capital could have thought about as soon as it was about to go out of business. There. Now on with the commentary. And somewhere, without the marketing, how is EA gonna survive? I mean... What kind of crazy new breed of street drugs have you been doing to have come up with a shitty argument such as yours? Let's take a brief look at your recent history, shall we? Starting with Dante's Inferno. You had an opportunity here to do something great with the medium, something truly moving. You were working with one of the most compelling pieces of literature in the Western tradition, but instead you gave us this, and then you made Dante a Templar, and I don't even... Uh, but alright, alright, not the end of the world. Yes, you were missing a monumental opportunity, which was frustrating, but... Oh god, how dare you, EA! How dare you be so accurate with hell! <laughs> okay, 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 I really need to calm down for a second. <sighs> hey, no harm, no foul. But then you started to market it. First, you started here. You hired fake protesters to pretend to be religious zealots picketing your game. You got these fraudulent Christians to stand outside your headquarters, waving signs and chanting, pretending to be morally offended that you would treat their religion in such a flippant way. You even had some of them carrying signs saying, Hell is not a game. Nice touch. Who are you helping by mocking and belittling people's faith? Uh, the medium and the people who are aware of this? 
every negative thing people say about the maturity level of games and gamers, you are reinforcing here. We shouldn't be paying people to say that games aren't the right medium to talk about any subject, especially when you had no intention of treating that subject with respect yourself. And where kind of logic did you get that from? EA didn't do it because they disrespect the religious culture, but they did it because, you know, they know how the Christians would actually react. You know, EA is trying to look for originality, you know. <laughs> After that, you ran your Sin to Win contest. Here's a picture of the actual contest announcement. Yep, pretty classy. An advertisement on a girl's chest with instructions that read, Commit acts of lust with any booth, babe. Prove it. Repeat. All this for a grand prize of a sinful night with two hot girls, a limo service, paparazzi, and a chest full of booty. Is there any more tone-deaf a way of presenting us all as the worst stereotype of adolescent boys? And you know what? While no one really cared about your subpar game, your marketing set us all back five years. The outrage over the Comic-Con incident spilled far past the traditional gaming press. And while you did try to tone it down after that, you even managed to piss off the International Nanny Association with fake reports that the game would include an achievement called Bad Nanny, awarded for killing a yet undetermined number of unbaptized infants. You know how hard it is to piss off people who watch other people's five-year-olds for a living? Now, you may have laughed all of this off. That you limit the future audience for games and give ammo to the people who say that games are nothing more than a way for children to waste time? Maybe you don't really care about that. Well, EA's point of a video game like Dante's Inferno is to represent hell. What do you expect EA to do? Do you expect EA to be... Trying to sugarcoat the game? About eternal suffering after life, where thousands of souls are tormented with no chance of escape whatsoever. Yeah, that's so stupidly easy. A brain-dead monkey like Tuber's 93 practically has it in spades. Rather than talk to you about all the high and noble things you can do with the medium, I'm going to talk to you about something I know you care about. Your bottom line. Let's skip ahead a few months to the relaunch of Medal of Honor. Fuck! 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 Oh! This was another mediocre title that should have passed like a whisper in the night, with nothing but the sighs of disappointed fans to see it on its way. But it didn't. The US Army took umbrage with the idea that Medal of Honor allowed players to play as the Taliban. And you know what? They were in the wrong on that one. True, it could have added to the replay value, but sometimes you may as well be careful of sensitivities among our troops and their respective military families. Uh... So that brings us to the present. A newly humbled EA, finally understanding the impact they've been having on gaming's image, tries to move the medium forward and improve their bottom line with a series of respectful- Oh, come on, EA! Oh my god! Oh, oh gosh. I think it'll make a person become insane. This game is an atrocity. Because the game is so fucking... Brilliant, you old fat bitch! Who oh, is that SAS PD22 over there? Hi, SAS PD22, how are you doing there? Why, indeed. Dead Space 2. See what you did? You just marketed an M rated game to teens. Good job. Are you alright? Because pretty sure that this advertisement is not for kids. Fucking hell, it's a trailer. If you utter so much as one syllable, I'll hunt you down and gut you like a fish. If you'd like to fax me, press the star key. Dead Space 2 barely even shows much violence in trailers or advertisements, so how's it marketed towards teens again? Uh, uh, what's your point? Not only that, but you did it in a way that everybody hates. By everyone, do you mean soccer moms? Yeah. Christ's uh, no. sake. You it's like we can't hear funny. every single wavelength going up and down as we watch it. the video. God, such a biased outlook towards EA. You threw all of gaming under the bus for an ad that any member of your audience over 13 is going to find patronizing, grating, and frankly stupid anyway. You're not even going to improve sales with it. If Dead Space 2 sells, it'll be on the merit of the game despite the ad, not because of it. 
So, EA, please, you you gotta stop. You're selling Short Gaming's future for what? For a few dollars today? Uh, who the fuck are you to tell EA what to do? Please, 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 for God's sakes, keep your volume at the same level as the volume in the video you're commentating on. Oh well, I better adjust the volume of your commentary to match that of the original video. If you're in charge of the company, then take it away, but you're not in charge of the company. You're just a gamer who plays video games for a living. <laughs> what the hell? Not even that. It's for some desperate attempt to demonstrate that you're still relevant, that you're still a driving force in this industry. But you know what? If you want everyone to know that you're still one of the most important forces in gaming, make good games and show the world what gaming can become. That's all we need, and I promise we will rally around you when you do. Oh, it's like watching a movie. You, you gotta stop it, eh? You'll destroy elitism. We, we can't... Oh god, no! They're ignoring us! Penis! <laughs> Did he just get castrated on that line? If it really were movie tubers, then this is what I would have to say when reviewing it. This film is actually so bad that a lot of people debate whether or not it actually exists. One last thing. <laughs> yeah, him. Fuck him! He's an asshole! The video ends here. Now the problem with the video is that you try to speak for the entire fan base, when in actual fact you bring no evidence to support your statements. Another thing is that you mention certain games that advertise what is relevant to the game itself. Hiring people to do trailers and advertisements do not hurt sales. Neither is your video or your hate. What really hurts sales? Real boycotts where nobody talks about it publicly. You don't buy the product, etc, etc. And you know what else it hurts sales? Well, what do you know? EA constantly giving out exclusive content to one shop. Da dum GameStop. EA's in trouble, so they have no choice but to find ridiculous ways... Quote, oh, sorry, <clears throat> I mean, quote-unquote ridiculous ways to advertise. At least they have originality. Give them some credit. I'll call it short and say the, that this open letter is below average at best. I can only agree with the Medal of Honor incident, but that's that's it. The whole of it was desperation of EA to go back to its old roots, being electronic artists again, when in actual fact they've been like this since day one. Go figure. Well, anyways, I'm done. Thank you very fucking much. <laughs> And now a probable reaction from the person who was commentated on by Tubers93. I don't give a damn who's his last shit! The United States of America! I have freedom of speech! If people don't like it, then go fucking fuck their fucking self! <laughs> Anyways, comment, rate, and subscribe to this channel for more Speakonia goodness. This is Microsoft Sam signing out. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. The end.